Just last week, Governor Ron DeSantis announced that the new class, AP African American Studies, will not be allowed to be taught in Florida due to violation of the Stop Woke Act. Oviedo High School was slated to be one of the schools to teach the pilot of this course next year, the teacher being Jessica Jenkins. When you go to college, you have opportunity to go dig deeper into certain subjects, like they have AP Euro and AP Art. This is you know, not really any different than that. And it really gives us a chance to highlight all of the contributions and success, um, art, culture. The Stop Woke Act, signed in 2022, states that schools are not allowed to teach certain concepts that allude that a certain race, color, national origin, or sex is superior or oppressed in any way. According to the governor, there was uh, stuff in some of the later modules on uh, intersectionality, which is when you have uh, sort of different interactions between uh, different groups and sort of shared oppressions type uh, stuff. Uh, I know there was some queer theory uh, in there as well. And in the pilot program, the, the good thing is you would have options to address those particular problems. While AP African American Studies has been at the forefront of everyone's concerns this past week, OHS still currently offers an African American History Honors class that teaches similar content. It's kind of the same way. It goes over many of the same topics you go over in U.S. history, but it allows you to dive deeper into um, those, to highlight individuals from the Gilded Age, from the Harlem Renaissance. You hear about Carnegie, you hear about Rockefeller, but you don't hear about the first woman millionaire who was black. So far, we've learned a lot, and we've only been in the class for like three weeks. Um, I think anyone should join. I personally believe that black history shouldn't be um, a part of a political agenda. I believe that. I think it's just um, something that people can, should choose to learn about and educate themselves on. Although this information may be discouraging to Florida educators and students, it's not necessarily the end of the story. The College Board could come back with it revised uh, to address the concerns that were brought up by um, the administration and um, the state uh, education department. So it, it may come back in some form or fashion. Again, I'm not here to tell students what to think, but how to think. And this is just going to give them an opportunity to be able to continue to do that and, um, again, hear a different part of the story. For Roar TV, I'm Delaney Warner reporting. I'm <laughs>